Well, hello everybody and welcome to the United Stands. I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is one of the biggest games of the season. It's Manchester United against Liverpool at Old Trafford. Are you feeling confident on Goldbridge's birthday? Um, well, look, I may well be the birthday boy, but I do not feel lucky. Are you feeling lucky, punk? Absolutely not. Um, no, I don't. I don't. I really don't. I think... Um, Team news is really interesting. Obviously, we'll get that up on the screen for you ASAP. Um, but I, I, I don't. Um, I, I, I don't. I don't. I, I think Liverpool are a, are a very good team this year. I think Man United are so bad, so unpredictable. Isn't it our thousandth centre back partnership of the season? It's not a thousand, but it, it, it's something ridiculous like that. It's um, it, it's just uh, yeah. It, it's uh, it's. Um, it's incredible how many centre-backs we've had to use this season. But um, we are where we are. It is what it is. And uh, we go with what we've got, I suppose. Uh, as you can see, the team... I don't know what is going on here. Yeah, you know, somebody going to help me out with this? Yeah, there we go. Um, so almost my magic. Something here as well. Something below here as well. Um, yeah, I'm sure they'll sort it in a minute. But yeah... Um, Man United's team, Anana, Wambasaka, Delo, Cambuala, Maguire, Casemiro, Mainu, Bruno. I mean, look, the front six, if I'm being completely honest, is not terrible. Like, it's not terrible on paper. But we're not terrible on paper anyway. Um, so I, I, I don't think that's necessarily the, ne necessarily the problem that we have. Um, I think the problem that we have is that, you know, Casemiro was so off it on Thursday. Is he going to be on it on Sunday? Rashford was, you know, we'll talk about Rashford in a minute. Bruno hasn't looked him looked himself for a long time. Rasmus is starved of service. ganacho has got to go back to the right wing. Um, yeah, th th there's a lot to... Um, there's a lot to uh, sort of digest there. And um, Liverpool just come here on the crest of a wave trying to win a win a title. So, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be very difficult for Manchester United, of course. Um, I'm not going to dismiss that. Um, I suppose that the, the, the first thing to hit, say I told you to turn up. The first thing to hit is, is the Rashford thing. Um, um, so much reaction. I was watching the the countdown to kickoff show with uh, Faz Beth and Jordan and uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, I saw one of your super chats where somebody said, um, I was Ten Hag in, but starting Rashford, I'm Ten Hag out. Um, because it's um, it's disgusting. I personally think, you know what? I even tweeted when I saw the news, unbelievable that Rashford is starting over Anthony, who's just had his best game in a Man United shirt. And then it doesn't make any sense. You know, I mean, I, I was sort of sat there going, so Ten Hag spends 80 million quid on Anthony. He plays his best game for Man United and then you drop him for Rashford. I mean, it's a PR nightmare and it's a complete and utter joke. You spent 80 million pounds on Anthony. Most people think he's a flop. He has his best game and then you drop him in the next game to play Rashford, who nobody wants to start. So I was sort of like racking my head going here. What's going on here? Who's running this football club? Is it Marcus Rashford? Is it Ineos? Is it Ten Hag? I was sort of like, I was stunned. And then I thought, you know what? The only other logical explanation is Rashford, we played Thursday night, has got the freshest legs than anybody in the front three. Um, so that's the only thing I could think about. But... You know, he's definitely got fresh legs. He's hardly done any running on Thursday, has he? So, look, that, that's the only thing. That's the only thing I can really, I, I can really think of about that. Um, and um, I suppose, look, I, I've got to say, he doesn't deserve to start. He's been given the opportunity to start, and therefore, he's got to go and perform tonight. It's as simple. Uh, this afternoon, he, he has to perform because, at some point, um, you hope that. That will happen because he, I mean, look, in one way, he can't put in a stinker today. If he puts in a stinker against Liverpool at Old Trafford, you talk about could it be the end of Ten Hag? I think it will be the end of Rashford because our fans are the best in the world. I'm biased, but we've seen them away from home. You're not fit to wear the shirt. This problem that Rashford has at the moment is not online. It's such a cop-out to say it's online fans. It really, genuinely isn't. Ricky's been watching Man United for years. He don't rate Rashford. He never has. 
But there's people like Ricky who are, you know, match going fans who have sort of given up on him. So if he puts in a stinker today, he'll get booed at Old Trafford. And if you get booed at Old Trafford as a Mank born and bred youth player, I think you'd I think you're done. So maybe 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 today we'll just see him decide to run around a bit and it could make a hell of a difference. Because the crowd will be on our side. Of course it will. Uh, TTV, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate that. Right, let's get into some of your super chats here. Mount has a shout over Rashford, says the wheelbarrow. I mean, Mount was very, very good. You know, no, you know, why is Mason Mount not starting? Happy Mark, birthday bridge. You'll never walk alone, says John. Happy birthday, Mark. You are amazing, says Dara. Thank you very much. Happy birthday from David. Hi, Mark. Just wanted to say your city is blue, just like London, says Tintin. Don't take up uh, uh, stand-up, mate. You're very not funny. United, Don, thank you very much. Happy birthday, says Daniel Patel as well. Uh, hi, guys. Rashford was... What's this? The, the, Stonesbury, thank you very much for, uh, for being a member. Can't believe Neville said he doesn't buy into the fact that we've been decimated by injuries this season, says Rob. Is that a genuine quote? Is that a genuine quote? I mean, hi guys, Rashford was great for Ten Hag's first year. Yes, he's had a difficult year, but there's no desire or passion. Is he just here for the paychecks, says Tom Grant. And Armin says, Mark, genuine question because this confuses me. Who does Ten Hag trust more, Anthony or Rashford? Well, I obviously trust Rashford more. I mean, you know, it, 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 you know that, that has to be... That has to be a fact, doesn't it? Um, can we get the Liverpool team up on the screen, uh, said somebody? Of course we can. Of course we can. I'm going to whack it up for you now. Uh, there you go. I, 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 why are you so down on Man United, Mark? Mate, I'm the mis I'm Mr. Positive about Manchester United. Like, I, I don't want to see the manager sacked. I, I, I want to see us win. It's my birthday. Of course I want to see a win. Um, look, I expect us to lose, but I'm not going to pretend that when we do lose, if we do lose, I'm going to sit here and go, I told you so. It's Liverpool. It's, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Uh, Kelleher, Bradley, Kwanzaa, Van Dyke, Robertson, McAllister, Endo, Saboslai, Salah, Nunez, Diaz, uh, Gomez, Canate on the bench. Uh, Jones is back on their bench. Gakpo, Elliot, Simikas, Gravenberg. I mean, they've got they've got a good bench. Liverpool. They've got a good team. Um, I, I think it's going to be very very difficult for us to uh, um, go for it. I can't believe this quote from Gary Neville. Unbelievable. Um, I don't buy into this idea that Manchester United have been decimated by injuries. I mean, that's just unbelievable. I mean, look, you can be Ten Hag out and just say it. I respect all of you who say Ten Hag out. I respect that because that's your opinion and I don't agree with it. But even you lot say the injuries are ridiculous and we're cursed. Gary, I'd have more respect for that opinion if you just said I'm Ten Hag out. I know you work for Sky, but just say you're Ten Hag out. Because coming out with stuff on national TV that I don't buy into this idea that Man United have been decimated by injuries. I mean, that just exposes you. and That, uh, that exposes you as... Well, I'm trying to think of the word. Stupid? I mean, uh, come on. I mean, look, Ten Hag in, Ten Hag out. Man United, Man United have been decimated by injury. How can you say on national TV, I don't buy into the fact that, that, that to this idea that we've been decimated by injuries? I mean, has he just woke up with a hangover? What? What? Has he banged his head? What? What? Like, we are decimated by injuries. Like, it, it, we don't want to be, but we've got Camwala and Maguire at centre back. You could argue that they're our fifth and sixth choice centre backs. We've picked about. 20-something combinations of centre-backs. We've got no left-back. We've got one striker. You know, Casemiro's had two significant injuries. We've only got one holding midfielder. We're reliant on a 19-year-old and an 18-year-old. Um, I'm struggling with that one. I'm, re I, I'm sorry. I'm absolutely struggling with that one. It's the most... 
You know, I've, I've heard ex-players say stupid things. Like Roy Keane said that tackle on Luke Shaw years ago was a good tackle that nearly ended his career. And I thought that 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 that, that was horrific. But we've not been decimated by injuries. We don't want to use it as an excuse, Gary. Nobody does. But it's a fact. We've had over 60 injuries. We have been decimated by injuries. We've only selected our best team for 60 minutes in the whole season. And that was Wolves. We have been. I've tagged Specsavers on a tweet. He's, I mean, I'd look, I'll argue. Look, you don't always feel confident going up against the club legend on their opinion. But he's saying that on national TV. I feel we have to, you know, come back and say, regardless of where you stand around players or the manager, we're nowhere near selecting our best team and we haven't done all season. So, look, leave it at this. If you're only able to pick your team, your best team for one hour in a whole season, you've either got a problem with injuries or that's it. There's nothing else. Uh, for a pint to drown your sorrows and celebrate your birthday, love the content. Here's to another year, says Joe Roach. Thank you very much, mate. Um, also, uh, hi, Mark. Love from Uzbekistan. Really enjoyed your appearance on the podcast last night it was great talk with the boys as always nice to see i don't know what that's all about Estebi, because i didn't do that happy birthday mark you deserve the w today this is jason kieran says happy birth 50th <laughs> neville never calls for a manager to be sacked hashtag sarcasm says patrick lynch uh skeletons has gifted 20 memberships i think we've got a legend in the chat absolutely fantastic and just talking about that uh, i think it's in the live chat my new book you can get for pre-order we're already number two in football on Amazon books. Um, and it's a pre-order. So this is amazing. So please do scan that QR code with your camera phone when it goes round or go through the live chat and, and, and order the book. That brilliant reaction so far. And uh, please keep doing that. Uh, Aria says, happy birthday, Mark. I hope United get a result today. By the way, I've pre-ordered the book. Brilliant. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, Mark. It's my birthday as well, says Linu. Well, let's let's hope that we can share some happiness together. How can he trust Rashford more? He's been underperforming all season. Let him down multiple times, says Armand. Look, I'm quite I'm quite chill about the Rashford thing. I've got to be honest. Um, I'm quite chill about the Rashford thing. And I'll tell you for why, because there's nowhere to hide at Old Trafford against Liverpool. Like if he doesn't run, everybody knows. Every match going Man United fan knows that Marcus Rashford this season hasn't been running enough. He can't hide. He's going to run today. He is going to run today. Now, whether he'll run next week away to Bournemouth, I don't know. But he will run today. He will put the effort in today. Because, and maybe that's right. What maybe that's what Ten Hag thought. He's like, I need fresh legs against Liverpool. He might not run around against Chelsea because it's away from home. But if I start him against Liverpool, it's Liverpool. Even he's going to run against Liverpool with a with a packed out Old Trafford. So it could be a masterstroke by Ten Hag. My reaction was the same as you. But then I thought about it and I thought, can Rashford really put in a jog for 70 minutes against Liverpool? I don't think he can. I don't think he's got the balls to do that. I genuinely think he isn't arsed and he isn't putting the effort in. But I don't think he's got the balls to do that at Old Trafford. I mean, you're basically sinking your brand if you don't if you do that. So I think he will put a shift in, and hopefully, he'll do what I know he's capable of. He is capable. He's better than shit. He is capable of delivering, uh, and and maybe maybe that's what that maybe that's what's going to happen. Uh, Kathy says maybe you'll prove me wrong. Well, it's, not, well, it's not me. Uh, it's not an exclusive opinion of Mark Goldbridge that Rashford's not been good enough this year. It's a fact, Kathy, and he's not proving me wrong. If he scores a hat-trick today, amazing. He was still shit against Brentford. He was still shit against Chelsea. People get it wrong about when a player suddenly does something good. It's not proving anybody wrong. It's it's you doing what you should do. And maybe he will do that today. He, how can he prove you wrong? How can he prove the critics wrong when he did go out in Belfast the night before? You know, he did play shit for most of the season. He can't prove people wrong. He can turn it around. And hopefully he will. Um, cause we all win then. Uh, Ash says, hi Mark, 47 months a member. Do you think Rashford constantly being played is Ten Hag's way of saying, if I go down, you're coming with me, says Ash G. I, I, I think, to be honest with you, I don't even know how I would deal with it because it might be a masterstroke by Ten Hag, but this is a player that's our best paid player. 
and he's, he was our top scorer last year. At some point, you're just hoping something's going to click with him, whether he, whether it's because he wants to play in the Euros, whether it's because he wants to play for United, whether it's because he wants a move. I just think you're hoping at some point he's going to start doing something better than this because he is better than this. Uh, happy birthday, Mark. We share the same birthdays as United. Don, few people sharing it. Good. Uh, Abbas says, you get a lot of hate, but we back you. I, I ignore the hate, mate. I, don't, I, I genuinely hardly ever see it. Happy birthday, legend. Hope you're doing well, says Reese uh, Rashford again, says Stuart Walker. How many chances does this kid get in again? Add it to the season. Ten Hag might need the sack. Surely he's seen his work rate unreal. I think I think we're going to get, you know, I, I don't want to go over old ground, but I think we might get a, I think we might get a performance. Let's see. Where's he going to hide? You know, if he starts off in the first five minutes jogging, the crowd are going to let him know. I, I I don't think he can hide today. I think he's got to put in a performance. Up against Bradley at right back as well, is that a vulnerability? I mean, a lot of people give Bradley a lot of credit. Maybe Rashford can do something there. But I'm hoping this guy is going to deliver on my birthday. Rasmus, I'm hoping. Come on. Happy birthday. Greetings from Norway. Says Zach. Uh, thank you very much from Pat as well. Kieran's gifted a membership. Uh, MT90 uh, is stunned but not surprised about Rashford starting. Is Scooby-Doo starting? He's not even on the bench. He's not even on the bench, actually. Uh, good, uh, very, very, very good, actually. Um, lots of people saying happy birthday as well. Thanks for the follows on TikTok. A few people watching on TikTok. Sam's there as well. Love that. Thanks, everyone who's getting involved. Give us a follow on there. Um, look, if things go well tonight, I might be launching TUSFC Pro Clubs tonight about 10 o'clock. So that would be nice, wouldn't it? But uh, if it goes badly, I'm not. Um the bench for Manchester United, I gave you Liverpool's bench, but the bench for Manchester United is Beinda, Amrabat, Mount, Eriksson, Ahmad, Anthony, Forson, Amas and Agonye. So we literally have only got teenagers as defenders on the bench. We are... But, but remember what Gary said. He's not... I mean, what, what? You know what? I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to go there because we, we, we've got a massive game here. But what is Gary on? What is Gaza on? What is Gary Neville talking about? I mean, I'll read you the quote back. It is genuine. I can't speak. So he says, "I don't buy into this idea that Man United have been decimated by injuries." I mean, you know what? It's like walking into the bedroom and your wife's at it with your best mate, and you go, "She'd never cheat on me." I don't believe it. He's actually doing it now. They're still doing it now. No, I don't believe it. I mean, it's staring him in the face. Look at the bench, Gary. We've got two teenagers who've never played for the team as our only defenders. We've got Camboala and Maguire as our centre-backs. We've got a right-back at left-back. I don't buy into the idea that we've got injuries. He walk out, you know, what does Gary do? Does he walk outside in his bloody swimming trunks when it's pissing it down with, with snow? I don't, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Pass me the sun cream. It's 20 degrees. You'll freeze your tits off, Gary. No, no, I'll get, I'll get burnt if I'm not careful. I mean, we are decimated by injuries. Just look at the bench, look at the team. It's, uh, it is what it is though. We go with what we've got. We can't change it. Uh, Jeff, uh, welcome to Members Club. Any chance for fans to get involved with the club's game or is it the United Stand crew only, says Andy MC? Well, you'll have to see how it works. We may well run trials. Happy birthday, Mark. What's your favourite fragrance? Um, I wear... Oh, I always forget them. I've got one up here that I wear, just to be a bit sociable. Um, I've got Platinum by Chanel, which I like, but there is a... There's a Givenchy one I like. Is it Erios? Something like that. I think it's... I shouldn't be telling you this. Get the Givenchy one. I don't wear that as much. Um, XX, XIX Sweaty. Thank you very much for becoming a member. What's your score prediction, Mark? I have... I have had a... I have had a little glass of wine with my lunch and moved from we're definitely going to lose to a 1-1 draw. Thanks for the follow, Fraser and Ryan. Um... I think we'll lose, though. I think Liverpool... Uh, if we hadn't had the cup game, it'd give us a little bit more of a chance. But Liverpool should have killed us off in the second half and they got stupid. I think Klopp will have been on at them not to do that again. Tonight we must win, says Ray. Let's give Liverpool a fight. Any chance of uh, done that one? Uh, thank you very much to Lox and Gerald for the happy birthdays. Uh, hi, Mark. Happy birthday. Annoyed to see Rashford starting as well. Thank you for all of that. Love it. Um... Right, okay, let me just sort this out.
That's done. Um, thanks for the follow, Desi. Um, where's that gone? There it is. What? There we go. So we're about nine minutes away from the start of this game. Um, yeah, McTominay's not on the bench. Don't know. Got no idea why McTominay's not on the bench. Absolutely none. Um, I presume he's probably injured. If he's injured, that's another injury. But remember, life according to Gary Neville, we're not decimated by injury. Um, if McTominay's injured, that means in a week we've lost Martinez, Lindelof, Varane, Evans, McTominay. So I had five new injuries in a week. But we're not decimated by injuries. Um, if you're on YouTube, by the way, we are only 60 subscribers away from 843,000. So please do click that subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Get involved with the United Stands. You're all extremely welcome, as you know. And um, Max had a Max Aaron's had a bet on McTominay to score. He won't be scoring today. He ain't even playing. Uh, Staffan, thank you very much for the follow there. Um, yeah, uh, look. I, how do, I think the most important thing about this game, actually, is to predict or assume um, how Man United are going to play this game. And the way I think we'll play this game, I think the only way we can play this game is to not play the game that we played against Chelsea. Chelsea was like a basketball game. It was chuckle vision. To me, to you, one end to the other. To me, to you, we can't do that. We can't do that because Liverpool or Man City, or Arsenal, if they're breaking with a five against three, they'll probably score every time. So I think we've got to play deep. I think we've got to play compact. And that's probably a hint as to why Rashford's playing, because he's the quickest player we've got. I think that we've got to play compact and we've got to play counter-attacking football. I know it's Old Trafford. I know Ten Hag has said we want to play out from the back. We want to dominate the opposition. You don't play Liverpool and dominate the opposite opposition. You, you, you've got to play clever. So I think the first five minutes will be really interesting. And, and we played on Thursday night as well. And it was a very emotional game. And that Thursday-Sunday turnaround is big. And I know Liverpool played and they had to go late against, was it Sheffield United? But um, it's chucking it down with rain in this game. There'll be a few tasty tackles going in. Uh, the referee is Anthony Taylor. We've not even spoken about that. It's been a horrific weekend in the in the re in the refereeing situation in the Premier League. If you think about, you know, you look at the penalties we conceded on Thursday night against Chelsea, and then you watch Vardiel wrestling Ezzy to the ground. No penalty. Um, yeah, it, it, it could be it could be a referee decision or something like that. But we've got to keep eleven players on the pitch. As an Arsenal fan hoping for a Man United win, says Alan Gaming. Well, we, we could have a big big. Uh, say in the title of course we've got Arsenal to come as well happy birthday Mark are you doing public book signings uh, yes I am James I'm feeling Ganacho to score happy birthday says Alex uh, uh, Mohammed says you've got a gun to your head name all the players that need to leave now well can you remove the gun I don't need that um, I think Maguire's got to go Lindelof's got to go I think wan has got to go um, I think McTominay's got to go, Eriksen's got to go, Sancho's got to go, Greenwood's got to go, uh, Brandon Williams has got to go, Martial's got to go, um, and I would, I would say one of Casemiro or Varane probably needs to go for wages. It's not point. There's no point in keeping two, and that's ten, and. Honestly, I'd cash in on Rashford the way I feel at the moment. I don't think that's controversial. So that's 11 players. We're never going to sell 11 players. We're never going to do that. I mean, look, somebody said, what about Hannibal, Palestri and Donny? I mean, th that's a given. That's a shay. You know, that, 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 that's a given, isn't it? Surely that's going to happen. Uh, welcome to all the new members as well. Dragon Ball has, has joined. Where's all the chat for Villa's draw with Brentford? It's cold logic. Um... Hoyland has a gift for you, Mark, says Bobby. I hope so. Mark is a United supporter for more than 40 years. I have to see a more positive light going forward. We need the United community. Have a good one, says Ray. Thank you very much, Ray. Uh, Klopp's last ever game against United, says I just try hard. Yes, it will be. There's no other way that we could play them. Um, how is there still player power? Who is to blame, says Grace. Um, 
yeah, well, the structure's going to take a, a little bit of time to sort, isn't it? Uh, where's all the chat for the Brentford game? I suppose people are talking about the fact that they drew, isn't it? But then again, Villa scored three goals. We played shit against Brentford. We, we can't argue about that. Um, I'm just looking at the behaviour in the tunnel. I like Casemiro. I mean, I saw his um, banter with some of the Chelsea fans when he'd been subbed off at the weekend. I don't know. Liverpool look very focused in that dressing room. I just hope the, hope the United players are as well. I really, really do. Uh, Pre-order your book on WH Smith. Signed edition. Can't wait. Says her heart of United. And do you think Klopp could do Sir Alex and stay? Says Ben. No. Um, Slippy says, happy birthday. I'm expecting a loss today, but also a performance. I think our summer will be Glazers and Sir Jim disaster class. Yeah, very interesting indeed. Um, just uh, if you're not aware of what people are talking about, about the book, you can scan the QR code or you can go through the live chat. Uh, there's a link there that will give you a list of outlets where you can pre-order my book, uh, which is behind me there. I can show it you just before kickoff. Football, according to Mark Goldbridge, uh, get in. It's, um, it's basically a book I've been re writing for the last year and it's about my love for football really from a young age through to now and YouTube and my favourite bit as I said is between the age of 12 and 16 really where I was playing football I had trials etc um, I was the original Fabrizio Romano and because um, I used to have a paper round and phones didn't exist so when I got on the school bus I knew all the stories um, but no please do uh, pre-order it I uh, love the support and uh, it's certainly rust ru rustling a few feathers which I think is what we are here to do you know when you think about things like the PGMOL and the Premier League and you know mainstream they think they fucking run the world well they don't you don't there's a new world and uh, we've got an amazing community so thanks to everyone who's pre-ordering it um, as I say you can scan that camera phone and do it we're ranking number two in football on amazon already so it's just amazing look the only people who are going to buy the book are you that's the community that's the movement so um it is my birthday if you could pre-order it that's a brilliant present that's all i ask uh and uh, i think you'll really enjoy it and we've got a bit of a tour coming up in august as well for the launch so hopefully uh, we'll see a few of you there when that's announced as well um we're two minutes away from the start of this game uh, Man United fan for life says, hope you and the family are well, mate. Hope yours are as well. Um, look, I, I'm not confident going into this. I don't I very rarely go into a United game where I'm not comp, where I'm not like, I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think about this. I mean, look, realistically, I said it this morning. I'll say it again. If we win this game, obviously Ten Hag will get credit. But I will say this. If we win this game, I'll give it the players. I think it's on the players. Um, we've got so many injuries. We're not going to play tactically superior football. This is going to be about 90 minutes of concentration and hard work. And that can only come from the players. It can't come from the manager. It's 11 players in a Man United shirt at Old Trafford against Liverpool who are going for the title. If we win this game, it's going to be on the players. If we lose this game, it's going to be on the players. It's really as simple as that. So... Look, you can you can you can demand Ten Hag gets sacked at the end. You can demand that he stays at the end, but I want to see a shift. And it's funny because the cameras are on Rashford, and maybe maybe he's got a point to prove. I mean, yeah, it's not like he didn't have a point to prove on Thursday, but but maybe he's got a point to prove. Like, um, Pyro says, where can we buy the book? Um, I thought we'd put the link in the live chat, but I will put it in there for you. Um, we had we had meant to put it in there. I don't know why it's not gone in there. I'll put it in for you. You can scan the QR code as it goes round as well. Let me just start this. Right, and we're off. There we go. Time is working. Good to see. Right, I've pinned it in the chat for you, Pyro. You'll see it now. It's got the link there. You can get it from WH Smith signed or you can just pre-order the audio audio or whatever. So, link's there. Here we go. 33,000 watching already. You know it's a big game and it's Liverpool on the attack straight away. Well intercepted. And Casemiro just boots it to Liverpool. So, Bradley's on it. 
Got to be deep. Got to be organised. Got to say, in the first 30 seconds, we are deep and we are organised. Uh, Graham's just bought, grabbed the copy of the book. Get in. Thank you, Graham. Happy birthday, legends. You you've helped me through tough times. I've been watching since 2020. Hope you enjoy your 21st as Man United fan for life. Uh, there is an audio version of it, Hamlet. If you check that link in the live chat, you can get it off Amazon yet. Yeah. Um, hoping for a better result, says Marcus Stevenson. Thank you very much. Thank you to Mr. Cheetah and Dan. Uh, are you coming to Yorkshire? And uh, Joe say, thank you very much. United are on the bench. Ganacho, he's going to score. Bloody hell, happy birthday. 1-0 to Manchester United. No, he's offside. Bollocks. I hate that. Bruno took too long. Why didn't why didn't he play him first time? Fucking hell. Ah, I, 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 you watch that back. He can play that quicker. That should be one nil. Ganacho's done everything right there. Oh, we're in again though. Here's Bruno. Come on. Pass the fucking ball. Here we are. Here we are again. He's had it twice. Twice. And he's hanging on to it for too fucking long. Pass the bloody ball. Look at him trying to take on Kwanzaa. You're, you're not that man. You're not that guy, Bruno. You're a, you're an assister. Bloody hell. Man United versus Liverpool. Can I get an absolutely incredible from you? This is kicking it with Cade. It's absolutely incredible because now it's Liverpool... Great save by Anana. Fucking hell, this game's going to be like Chelsea. It's going to be like Chelsea. It's going to be a bloody end to end. It's Chuckle Vision FC. To me, to you. Great, that was a good save by Anana. That was a good save. So, in the first two minutes, it could be 2 1. 1 1. 1. What a start. It's it's mad. Unbelievable. It's a good save by Anana. That is, you know, because uh, Sabozlai's put that. He's, he's scoring that. Good save. Good save. Why is Rashford playing this? Needs addressing. Says old soul. Let's see how he does first. Uh, Craig's ordered the book. Legend, mate. And uh, thanks, Graham Robertson, as well. Uh, really appreciate that. Lovely birthday presents. Um, lovely stuff. Um, yeah, this 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 might end up being a bit about a bit like uh, um, Boomtown on TikTok says if the game goes like this, then L Liverpool will batter United. Uh, brilliant by Anana says Joe. It was a good save because it was going in the sort of far corner and it, and it's an outstretched hand which is not easy to do. You're just using your hand, aren't you? Um, I think Bruno could have done better on both of those. I think he should he could have played Ganacho in quicker. And when he's in the box, he should put the cross in. And that's why Rasmus doesn't get fucking service. Because Bruno is taking on the centre back instead of putting the cross in. I'll tell you now, remember those two moments at the end of the game. Because if that come back and if that comes back and hurts us, then he's got to be moving that ball quicker. Good play by Casemiro. wan -Bissaka does well. United have started off well here, you know. There's a bit, there's a good tempo. Bruno limping already. Mbappe for Rashford and Bruno Gomez for Bruno. And we win the league, says Addy. Mark says, I hope this doesn't ruin your day. Well in, Camboala. But now they're going to break with Nunez. Oh my God. Well done, Maguire. Nunez slips. So happy for you on your books, Zander. Thank you very much, mate. Bloody hell. The start to this game is incredible. Kanye's even seen Rashford sprinting back and defending. I think Rashford took a bit of a knock, actually. We have somehow turned into a roller coaster with the odd wheel missing, says Nick P. But you know what I always say? If you look at the way we played against Chelsea and you look at the way we're playing here, with these players... 
Imagine playing this with Luke Shaw, Martinez, Varane, you know, we'd be better. Like, we can do it. So, you know, the football is um, worrying, but if Ten Hag allows you to play like this normally as well. Can you do a poll on how many Arsenal fans are watching? I can imagine it's 30%. Also, love the podcast with Robbie, by the way, says it's Louis. Yeah, it was great to do that, actually. Bruno and Rashford are so selfish when you look at the bigger picture. That's three times in the first four minutes. Unbelievable from the captain, says Ben. Here's Ganacho on the right-hand side. He's got Delo. Should have gone to Delo there. Uh, good start by United. I'm, I'm going to applaud it. It's been a good start. The fact that Liverpool are a little bit uh, yellow card. Who's got a yellow card? That, I think that might be the foul by Bradley. On, I mean, this is, you know, Bradley on a yellow card. Rashford's got to cook him now. He's got to cook him. That's a red card. He's got to. He's got to cook him. What I mean by that is, for anybody who doesn't understand, is that he's got his right back on a yellow card after five minutes. Get the ball to Rashford and run the fuck at him every chance you can get. And any clip, go down. If I, Yeah, I think, it, I think it's, um, it's not a red card. Why are people saying red? Oh, people are saying the tackle should have been a red. What a game, says James. It started. Tell you what, it has. It's 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 a good game. It is a good game. The crowd will love that first five minutes as well. Atmosphere is fantastic. Here's a nice ball. Oh, defended well. Feed Rasmus. Here he is, Rasmus, into Ganacho. Another corner. Ganacho makes me proud. He actually gets it, says Sean Atwood. If that was Casemiro, it's a red, says Christopher Day. Nobody got a red. Some people are just saying it could have been a red for Bradley. I mean, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't think it was a red. That's why I thought, I, I thought it was, I thought it was on a bloody stream or something a dodgy stream i thought it was miles behind i'm waiting to see where the red's gonna be um bruno with the corner oh i thought Maguire was on that rashford lays it off he's gonna get it back here he's gotta he's gotta he's gotta get in on that bradley gifted a membership man united fan for life thank you very much We don't talk about love. Thanks for the follow, Various and Callum and Messi. Appreciate it. Nathan, thanks for the follow as well. Sixty-four percent possession for Manchester United early on here. But it's Liverpool on the attack. Salah gets the shot off, goes for a corner. Corner to Liverpool. Hi, Mark. Have you seen Ajax lost 6-0? Says Tyler. No. 
just focusing on my birthday in Man United. Um, edge of the box. I always feel with United, though, the first goal is the problem. Shot over the box from Sabozlai. Bruno looks really uncomfortable. Hope he's okay. He's angry, Brit. Take him off. Look, I like Bruno, but genuinely, put Mason Mount in that position. I don't think we lose anything. In fact, I probably, I think we probably gain something. We've 66, 64 percent possession. Wow, says Umzi. Um, Harrison, welcome to Members Club. First time in 30 years. I want United to win, says PSN. Can you do a Rasmus versus Nunez poll? Says it's Louis. There's absolutely no point on a Man United channel, mate. Um, thanks for the birthday wish, Luca. Thanks to everyone who's watching on TikTok as well. Quite a few people giving us a follow, like Mustard and User130651. Um, Liverpool just starting to have a little bit of uh, possession here. You could say they've ridden that first few minutes storm out. But I don't believe that yet. You're such a biased commentator. It's almost like I'm listening to a Man United supporter. Give for some Liverpool love, says Amin. I hope that's sarcasm, as in Amin. Mainu high up. Bruno seems to be in the number eight position, says that kid, Vic. No, we have a hold. We play one holding, and then we have two attacking midfielders, Bruno and McTominay or Mainu. That's just how we play. We've been doing it all season. I don't really agree with it, to be honest. But um, happy 21st, says Matt. Uh, SWFC, I've just read your comment, so bro does read it. Thanks for the follow, Aiden. Shane, Dan, Denali Davis as well. But who's G says, I hope you destroy them. I think we have got a lot of Arsenal fans watching. I mean, look, there's not many City fans, but they'll be wanting us to win as well. Let's not forget. Well up, Maguire. And Liverpool come again. Oh, my God. Why are we so out of position there? If Xabi Alonso is going to Madrid, why don't we get Ancelotti to steady the ship in a, next year, says Rex. Happy birthday, Mark, says Ray. Cheers, mate. Hope you're doing well. Uh, hoping for a breakout from Kamwala. What do you think of him, says Uncle Drew? Well, he's massively out of position there. I don't know where he's gone. Delo has to come across and cover. I don't know why we're uh, doing that. Angry Brit, thanks for gifting 10 memberships. Short corner from Liverpool. Edge of the box. Well in, Rasmus. Come on, second fucking ball. That's a joke. Rasmus wins the tackle. It goes loose on the edge of the box. It wasn't Rasmus, actually. I think it might have been Ganacho. But uh, it goes loose on the edge of the box. And someone should be going to win that. Yeah, it was Ganacho. Happy birthday, Mark. Hope you had a good day. Have a pie on me, says Darry. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that you got to want the second ball. You've got to say, that's my ball. Uh, if you're on YouTube, by the way, please do um, subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. We were only about 10 away from 843,000 last time I checked. Get involved with the channel. Of course, we've got match reaction straight after this. You can do the player ratings, marking every player out of 10, six being the average. And uh, we've got the fan forum as well after that. So lots to get your thoughts in on. Plus, we're live every morning. Niall's just ordered a signed copy of the book. Thank you very much, mate. You're an absolute legend. If you want to do that, the link's in the live chat or you can scan the QR code as it goes round. Uh, that's a goal kick to United. Liverpool just starting to get a bit of an edge in the game, maybe. I like Bruno, but I like Rashford, but guess what? I don't. I don't like either of them. Dreadful, selfish, immature footballers. Pathetic, says Tam. Alan says, any Liverpool commentator. I'm Mark Goldbridge. The United stands the biggest Manchester United community channel in the world. If you want Liverpool, go and find it. This is United. Unsh unashamedly biased. End of the day. Funky says, look at Rashford. Um, I've not really noticed him yet, to be honest. So I think that's... A... Look, honestly, you've got Bradley on a yellow card. Get the ball to Rashford. Let him have a run at him. That's all I would do in the next 20 minutes. Oh, 
Oh, God, just giving the ball to McAllister. You can't do that in those areas. Go on, Rashford. Go on, Rasmus. Urgh, pure pace. Back cross. Oh, he can't do it. He can't do it. He needed to do it first time. He's done well, though. Into Rashford. Out to Bruno. Good play by Rasmus, that was. Nice to see him just having a little bit of the ball, isn't it? Good tackle by Rashford. Um, do you think glory hunting in sport is really as bad as people make out, says Connor? Uh, friendly neighbourhood. Thank you very much for joining the members club. I'll leave your third name out. Um, Delo has made a huge jump this year despite... Happy birthday, Mark, says Samuel. Stocks for dummies has got $175 on United. Love from Chicago. Here we go. Bit, bit of possession for us. That's where it was exciting in the first five minutes. What? what? You know that ball by Delo? Am I thick or something? That ball by Delo. Why doesn't he nod it down to Rasmus or, or Rashford? Watch this here. Tell me why. I mean, he's offside anyway. Tell me why he doesn't nod that down. Why is he trying to control it? Art Gambler, thank you very much. It's, that, it's just that. It's that, it's, that, it's that selfishness, you know? Just fucking lay it off. That's your job. Ben Creamer says, Delo for player of the season. Let's just forget Thursday. Well, look, Delo's still had a good season. People make mistakes. They do. I know it's not related to today's game, but great seeing Solihull Moors get into Wembley. Yeah, up the Moors, James. Brilliant result for them yesterday. Away at Bromley into the FA Trophy final. Should be in the playoffs as well. Here's Liverpool on the tap. Robertson, first time cross. Oh, that could have been 1-0. Sabozlai again. First time cross. Something United can only dream at, dream about. This is what about this is what service is, look. Robertson. Boom. We never do that. Uh, I think Bruno's having a bad game. Again. I think he's holding on to the ball for too long. Trying to do everything. Not being a team player. Can't wait for the book. Happy birthday, mate, says Harrison. And who would you like to sign this summer? says Tom. Who wouldn't I like to sign this summer? Is Maynou. Oh, if he switches that to Rashford, Rashford's in. Oh, it's fucking hell. Rasmus is going mad at the referee. Rashford was free on the left there. I tell you what, though. I think the weather helps. I don't know whether you've ever played the game. I've played the game. Taylor, thanks for the follow. I've played the game, and anybody who's played football, I'd be stunned if anybody disagrees with me on this. A game like this, in the pouring rain, against a big rival, it, it's the perfect recipe. It, it almost gives you another 10% of, of energy and passion because it's wet. And once you've had that first tackle and once you are wet, you're like, fuck it, let's have it. Um, Jonas, thank you very much. And uh, why did the stats say we had no shots on target, says DeMarc? Because um, I don't think we have, have we? Thanks, Crookie, for the follow. Thanks, OUFC. I don't think we have had a shot on target. There's Robertson. Shoots wide. Let him shoot from there. Well, I'll tell you what. 20 minutes in. It's not bad. Not bad.
My sell and replace list, McTominay, Maguire, Lindelof, Martial, Sancho, Greenwood equals 130 to 150 million to replace with young, high potential players, says Jake. Tom, welcome to the members club. Um, Bruno wouldn't make bench of top six European teams, says La Familia. Uh, and CMA is watching from Bosnia. Thank you very much. Thanks for the follow, Frankie. Me says, I don't want Liverpool, City or Arsenal to win the league. Well, breaking news, one of them will. Look, Bruno, Bruno. Bruno's full of endeavour. There's no doubt about that. But he is... Um, his passing's been a bit off. Lovely play by Ganacho there. Oh, no. He's been tackled. And we get broken on again. Well done, Cambuala. I think, you know what? If they lose this, it's going to be on Bruno's is cryptic. I did say at the start of the game... He had two massive opportunities in the first four minutes where I think we should have been at least scoring one of them. And he's held on to the ball for too long. That Ganacho goal that was offside, he could have passed that quicker. I don't know why he took a touch. Watch it back at half-time. He could have passed it quicker. Um, yeah, but I think Cambuala's Cam impressed me so far. I mean, he's, he's far from the finished product, but um, his pace has been very, very important. Lucas, thank you very much for the follow. And Susko as well. Um, corner to Liverpool here. Goal. Simple as that. 1-0. I, I tell you what, it's a shit goal. It's an absolutely shit goal. It's been flicked on to the back post where Diaz isn't marked. And the fact that United have conceded such a shitty goal again, it, 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 it's baffling. It's absolutely baffling. It's like cooking a lovely dinner. It's like it's like it's like cooking a lovely dinner for your family, going upstairs to you know get ready and come down, and you've seen your cats took a shit on it. It's just terrible. We've started off really well, but we're not marking Diaz. Who's marking Diaz on the back post? Nunez with the flick. Diaz six yards out. Unmarked. It's, it's mad. Absolutely mad. Our marking is crap. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Who is our set piece coach? We look, we never score our own corners. We never score from free kicks. We never score from corners. And every corner we concede, we're vulnerable. The floodgates will open now, says Danny. Uh, Nigel says, Bruno is supposed to be the conductor of our attack. His decision making has been poor. Rasmus barely has any chances, says Nigel. Bring on Mount. I think Bruno is bad because he can't be captain when Rashford is unofficially in charge, says uh, the alien. Um, Jurgen Klopp's just gifted 10 memberships. Look, this is what I was talking about this morning. You know, you can play well at 0-0 for 10 minutes. Are these heads going to hit the ground now? This is where it's about character, isn't it? Because Liverpool won't stop. Liverpool will not stop. It's a soft goal to concede, but they won't stop. United now, can they keep it up from what they were doing in the first 15? wan doesn't win headers either, says Abby. Mainly was marking Diaz. He went towards Nunes for some reason, says Coral. It's a shame, because I thought we started off quite well. Look, Liverpool are one of the best teams in Europe at the moment. I thought we started off quite well, but another corner. At least we won that one, Casemiro. Bruno clears it. 
Get the ball. You know what's pissing me off? Get the ball on the ground. Get Rashford on the left wing and take on Bradley. He's on a fucking yellow card. I mean, why is it only... Great tackle by Mainu. Great tackle by Mainu. Go on, go wide, go wide. Go Rasmus, go Rashford. That's it. Take him on. It's Bradley. Take him on. Oh, Bruno, that's a foul. As someone who follows the Eredivisie closely, it's not Ten Hag's fault the way United play. You play nothing like his Ajax team, says Elfie. Uh, Hypnotics says, happy birthday. Sell Bruno and get Verts. Thank you very much for that. Do you remember when they announced a new set piece coach, says Mario? They need to. Uh, they definitely need to. Um... Well, set piece for United... May as well just chip it to the keeper because we do fuck all with set pieces. Bruno's been dog shit, says Ed. He's frustrated and it's blatant. He's trying far too hard. I think you nailed it there. Casemiro. Oh my God. He's headed it across the six yard box and you're waiting for a tap in. Casemiro's done everything there. He's done everything. Heads it across the six yard box. No one's anywhere near it. They're not even close. We're not even close. Every time Bruno has touched the ball, he's lost it. Take him off a mount. Put Delo as captain, says Ben. Set piece coach was Eric Ramsey, but he's gone, hasn't he, says DeMarc. I think Anana became a goalkeeper because he was the worst outfield player when he was a kid. He couldn't save a paper boat, let alone Titanic, says Sharath Math Fitness. Adnan, you're a Pratt, says Rhaegar. Here we go, Bruno. Too long with the pass. Way too long with the pass. That's better. Mainu. Ganacho. Why is that a foul by Ganacho? What, what, what's going on here? That should be our throw-in. I don't even know how this is a foul. Uh, thanks for the follow, Zao. Zao. Look, I want a bit of that. Fucking, let's have a little bit of that. Let's have a little bit of that. A little bit of oomph. There it is. What's wrong with that? It's Man United against Liverpool. Well, oh, Camboala makes the mistake. Shit, gets stuck under the ball. Does well to get back. He's loving it. He's clapping the crowd. Makes a mistake, but look at his determination to get back. That speed, that is. Love it. Loving it. Loving Camboala's performance today. There's Ganacho. You've got to go wide. Bad pass. Calm down a little bit here. Every time Bruno's touched the ball, he's lost it. Take him off a mount, says Ben. Go on, wide, 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 wide. Look at Liverpool's press here. Foul on Bruno. He needed it. Uh, Austin, thanks for the follow. You look concerned. Well, of course I'm bloody concerned. We're losing. Mark and uh, Amir says, Mark, Bruno and Rashford were my favourite two players, but they will pull this club down even further with their on-field attitude, says Amir Khan. Uh, it's my friend's birthday. Can you call him a Pratt, says Arnold, as long as it's not me. Oh, what's that ball there? Come on, we can't be wasteful. Play a simple pass if you're going to play a, a bad pass. No, 
Nice ball in there. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please do give us a, a subscribe, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. I don't know what we're on. We, we, were near, we were very close to 843k, so thank you very much for that. Um, Liverpool leading 1-0 here. Hold on, Casemiro. Rashford boots it back to Anana. Anana controls it. Does well. I, 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 look. All I'm bothered about is Man United. I appreciate there's probably a lot... Well, it's, it's the biggest game of the weekend, isn't it? A lot of people will watch this game anyway. But there'll be a lot of Man City fans, a lot of Arsenal fans, hoping that Man United could get a result. We, hope, we, owe, we owe no obligation to you, and you should not be trusting of us. As United fans, I don't think many of us came into this game expecting anything. However, what I would say is that from the first half an hour, we really have done a lot better than I would have thought. With the injuries that we've got, with the form we're in, I think we've done okay against what is, without doubt, one of the best teams in Europe at the moment. Uh, nice play by Rashford. He's got to get at that Bradley. Got to get at him. What was the score in the Celtic Rangers game? I presume it's over. Maynou. Oh, we're going to get broke on now. This is a goal. It's a, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a 4v3. Good save from Anana. That's, this is the trouble. We're trying to commit men forward. And then it's just a silly pass. And our whole midfield's out. Bruno, Maynou, Casemiro isn't even in the picture. Stretford ends very quiet, says Parksy. If Liverpool win the game, they win the league, says Logic. They probably do, you know, looking at their, they've only really got Villa away. That's difficult after today. Uh, Josie says you call this OK. What, 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 what do you, what do you expect, Joseph? I mean, like, we've had half an hour. We've not marked up on a corner and we're losing one nil to one of the best teams in Europe. We had a goal offside, which Bruno should have passed earlier. I think it's been OK. I think we've done OK. I didn't say we've done brilliant, but I think we've done OK. We miss Luke Shaw. Aaron wan can't play their full inverted role. So Shara don't have a left back. Yeah. Nunez over the bar. I mean, look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna skip past this. Look at the stats for a moment. No shots at all from Man United, but we've had forty eight percent possession. Um the twists and turns of Manchester United's season for me are remarkable. And when you look at those stats, this is probably why I think we're doing okay because we've had the ball. Um, we've had better pass accuracy than them and we've passed it more or less the same. After, what, 35 minutes against Liverpool, I think that's that's pretty decent. The problem is we've created absolutely nothing with that possession. Why have we created nothing with that possession? Because we haven't got the players to do it. You know, you're looking at the Rashfords and the Brunos and their creativity this season is bloody abysmal. We've had the ball to be creative and we've not been creative. And we're 1-0 down. Robertson, they're queuing up. Salah over the bar. Um... Not sure what you think, but Martinez changed the culture of the back four. Way more passion after a good defensive play now. Uh, when we had Mag Magluff in the back. Also, happy birthday, Marks' Uncle Drew. Jay says, have you ever had hangxiety? Don't know what that is. Mark, what? With Bruno playing so many games this season and last, do you think the manager should be considering benching him for Mount? Says Amir. 
Uh, Mayunu blamed by Neville for not marking Diaz. Sacking this summer should be who does set piece drills. Will this team grow a bat burn, says Ross. Two years with Mark and the gang. Never a dull moment. Hopefully we're back and win this one, says Kelvin. Um... Good play by Maguire. Well done. Mainu. Rashford. Go direct. He runs the ball out. Um, I'm going to tweet it and I'm going to say it here. Um, for me, Bruno off, Mount on at half time. Bruno looks absolutely miles off. Probably understandably because he's tired, but he looks absolutely miles off the pace. Um, apparently, Neville's going in on Mainu. Not really too sure what that's all about. He's an 18 year old kid, but. Um, yeah, uh, he, he's never going to do it. But as Florian says, put mount on, fresh legs. Bruno's overpaid, overplayed. Happy birthday. Hope you have a wonderful day, says David. You deserve it. Help me learn about football. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Anthony Campbell, thanks as well. For a change, Rashford uh, looks like he gives a damn, but hardly ever seen Liverpool box on TV today, says Nishé. Um, books ordered as well, says Tracy. You're a legend. Uh, Ken Ten Hag should switch Gnacho and Rashford. Bradley needs pressure. Um, says Swanee. I'm disappointed that we're not putting a right back who's young on a yellow card under some pressure here. Send Rashford to Saudi man. Anthony always plays for the badge. Rashford doesn't, says Justin. It's crazy how... Um... What's that? Oh, here we go. Player FC bitter. It's crazy how you manipulate people. Hop off the Bruno train, mate. It's sickening. Mate, it's called a different opinion to yours. Hop on the reality train. You're going to be very disappointed in life if, if, you, if, if you get so upset about people who disagree with you. If you think Bruno Fernandes is having a good game, that's fine. You're never going to have any mates who want to talk to you about football. But, you know, with the internet, it's probably a saviour for thick people like you. Bruno and Rashford are moments players in a system team. United won't progress until they're swapped out, says PK. Uh, Robert, thank you very much. Why is Ten Hag afraid of bunching Bruno? He is always out of position and a big liability, says Tyler. Uh, Diaz has gone down injured here. Good tackle by uh, Camboala. Gets the ball. Yeah, good tackle. Five minutes to go to half time. Here's the corner again. I'm just having a look at it. I don't know that Mainu is meant to be marking him there. Yeah, Mainu leaves him, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mainu's marking him, and then. I, I think Anana should save that, though. Gets a hand. You know. I'm not an, I'm not a professional ex goalkeeper, but when you talk to people like Watto and Ben Foster, they always say if you get a palm on it, you're disappointed if it goes in. Fingertips, a bit different, but when you get a palm on it, you always feel you should have saved it. United players already given up. This could be five. Um, 
Logic says a few minutes before half time, Liverpool normally turn up, says Logic. From what I've seen of Liverpool this season, um, second half, they normally go up a gear because Klopp's, um, Klopp's half time talks are legendary. I've got no idea why idea there is a push to, for Ten Hag to be sacked. You know, I should sack the set piece coach and head of fitness, says Nick. Um, uh, Ube says it's his friend Umang's birthday today. Happy birthday to him. Um, who's man of the match, says Addy? Look, the guy I feel sorry for the most is this guy. Just tons and tons of effort. Good block. That would have been on Rashford there. Made a mistake. Goes for a corner. Uh, Al Alif says, Hoyland out. Mountain Ahmad work rate needed. What what match are you watching? Bought your book. I will rip out the pages and eat them, says Reese. And Hoyland out. Mount and Ahmad work rate needed badly, says Alif. Visuals. I wouldn't put visuals in your username when you're saying Hoyland out. Because you're not watching it. Main who's been awful, no positional discipline. I mean, a few people are saying um, that um, Rasmus is having a bad game. Wh where's the service again? Like, do be, you, have you ever played the game? Have you ever watched the game? Do you understand the role of a striker? Have you watched Man United for the last four years? Where do you think the word graveyard shift came from? You can't pull out goals out your arse. You need service. Like, there's no service. He's running around chasing shadows, basically. There's no, there is nothing. There is no service at all. Um, I'd sub Rashford off for Anthony, says Atib. Whoever kicked the ball out of play because Diaz was down needs subbing and selling, says Raz. I'd sub Rashford off for Anthony. Who's three players you would have signed next season? I can't answer these questions, so sorry. Uh, this is the biggest game of the season. Man United against Liverpool. I'm not talking about summer signings, so we'll leave that for another time. Harry told Mainu during the next corner to not mark him, says Florian. Heads are dropping here. Visibly. Where's the, you know, where's the leaders here? I understand an 18-year-old, a 19-year-old, a 21-year-old, you know, they're youngsters, really. Where's the senior players in this, in this game? Where are they stepping up? Where's Rashford? Where's Bruno? Where's Maguire? Where's Casemiro? You know, Wan-Bissaka, he's, he's, not, he's not a spring chicken anymore. Like, the heads are visibly dropping here. This is like watching the final hour of the Titanic. I'm not interested in a love story, Jack and Rose, you know, a little bit of a painting. The, sh the ship is sinking here and in about an hour's time, we'll be sunk. Where's the leaders? It's just bad pass after bad pass. They, 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 mate. Uh, whatever you do with the manager, some of these players have got to go. They've got to go. They've just down tools at 1 0. Oh, it could have been another goal. And Arna makes the save. Uh, Wheelbarrow says this is one of the worst games I've seen Bruno play. I mean, uh, Nunez would have been offside here. Ian says, Ten Hag destroyed the squad. Inherited most of this squad, you absolute prat. It's a graveyard shift. I'm shocked with Fernandez in what he's become, says Gok. Um, and 
Uh, this is one of the worst games I've seen Bruno play since wheelbarrow. Get all the players a pay cut. If you don't like it, you're free to leave, says Hypnotic. Yeah, there'll be something called contracts that, that stop us doing that. Uh, we're about to hit half time, by the way. Make sure you subscribe, bottom right hand corner. I mean, just for anybody who doesn't know this stat, by the way, Rasmus Hoyland is outside the top 50 attackers in the Premier League for shots on goal. Man United striker. Ivan Tony's had more shots on goal than Hoyland. And um, he's. Uh, he only started playing in mid January. The service to our striker is a joke. Another corner for Liverpool. It's turned ever since that first goal's gone in, um, they've just given up. He's got to make. He's got to make subs. He's got to make subs. It'll, it'll get a lot more respect if he makes subs at half time. There you go. That is half time. Uh, right. Give us your thoughts. I'm going to get the stats up on the screen. Um, let's have a look here. Klopp's running into the tunnel. Um. We need Maynou on the ball. Liverpool have been suffoca suffocating him. Uh, Man United has no heart. What is this, says Sizwi. Ten Hag needs to bring Ahmad and Mount on. Otherwise, we're not even drawing this game, says Nigel. And, um... Yeah. I mean, look. I refuse to get drawn into what I'm seeing in front of me, which is just a complete and utter capitulation from overpaid mercenaries who have got no interest in the club that we love. Um, they started off for about 15 minutes quite well. Liverpool score and they give up. I mean, the goal is totally preventable. And people all talk about shots conceded. Um, we haven't had a shot on goal. We haven't had a shot at all. Liverpool have had 14. And people will go, I can't believe how many shots we concede. But I purposely was watching that. And Liverpool's shots are... If I was Klopp, I'd be fuming. Why are you shooting from there? Why are you shooting from there? Why are you shooting from there? They're shooting from edge of the box. Like, they're not. you're not going to score with many of those. So we, where's the guilt edge chance for Liverpool, really? They've not They've not really had, apart from that Nunez one at the end, they've not really had one inside the six-yard box. So I'm not bothered about how many shots we concede. I'm more bothered about how many shots we've had. And that is an absolute aberration from uh, Bruno Fernandes and the wingers. And Rasmus may as well be sat on the bench again. It's like there is no service into the box. And yet we've had 42% possession. It was before the goal, it was up over 50. It was about 50-50. Since the goal, certain players have gone, I don't fancy this. And we see it time and time and time again. People, players just not interested. I said before the game... I've just had a message from a best mate. God, I hate them. Useless. This is players. If you can't see it, then you've just seen it in front of your eyes. For 15 minutes, they're up for it. We concede a goal. They're not interested. Imagine that. Imagine that against your biggest rival at home. You can stop them winning the league and you can't be arsed because you concede a goal. Petulant, spoilt, overpaid brats. That's what we've got in our team. And I'm not talking about Mainu, and I'm not talking about Ganacho, and I'm not talking about Rasmus, and I'm not talking about Delo. But the rest of them, I'll deal with, I'll deal with on a case-by-case -case basis. But it's happened for too long. Where are the senior pros in that team? Where is Maguire, Bruno, Casemiro, Rashford? They're senior players. Combine their wages, you're well over a million pounds a week. Where, where, where is the, where is the, where is the justification for your reputation and your wage in a game like this? You don't need to practice for this. This game is about Manchester United. Forget the manager. That that talk is cheap. This is about wearing a Man United shirt at home against Liverpool. Where's your self pride? You know you've got seventy five thousand people there. 
and you're just jogging around, going through the fucking motions. Where is the pride to wear this shirt? And I'm tired of being in this situation. I said it this morning, I feel it's like Rangnick two years ago, watching players who can't be asked to play for this club waiting for another season so they can sack a manager. At some point, you've got to draw a, a line in the sand and say, no, not today. We're not having this again. But what are we just going to do? I remember Solskjaer getting a new contract. When was that? Four or five years ago? Gets the new contract. They stopped playing for him. We went away to Everton. We got humiliated. And he said, some of these players won't be playing for this club again. Some of them, they're still here now. Some of them are still here now. Still doing the same thing. Turning up when they want. Not turning up when they don't want. Fuck them off. Get them out. Get rid. I'm tired of it. Look, I have got no excuse for some of those players today. Because it's Man United against Liverpool. If we win this game, it's on the players. If we lose this game, it's on the players. I've seen shit Liverpool teams come and play prime Man United at Old Trafford and win. You do not need tactical discipline or shape to put in a performance against Man United. What you need is self-pride to go out there and bust the gut as a team. And they won't do it. Petulance. Laziness. You can see it in the passes. And look, as for changes... One thing I will say about the manager is, and he won't do it, take Bruno Fernandes off. He's the worst player on the pitch by a very long way. Forget what you think about Rashford or Casemiro or anyone else. Bruno Fernandes is the worst player on the pitch by an, by an absolute bloody mile. A mile. No no doubt about it. From, I hope they show the offside goal now because we should be 1-0 up. He takes an extra touch when he doesn't need to do it. It's there to be... It's, it's, it's there. Um, so, you know what? Farhan, tell us the point that Gary Neville's raised that's better than anybody, that anything any, anyone else has ever said because I'd love to know what it is. But we could have been 1-0 up. We could have been 1-0 up. I mean, they're showing the corner here. I'd like to see the offside goal again because we could have been 1-0 up. Bruno takes too long. And in the first four minutes, he took too long on two really good opportunities. You've got to take him off. You've got to take him off. It's as simple as that. Because you've got Mason Mount on, who's fully fit, he's ready to go, and he's a number 10. You've got to take Bruno off. But he won't do it, because it's his captain. It's his, it's his captain, isn't it? Um, Mark is speaking the truth. Uh, Bruno's been playing like this since he joined the club and covers his underwent. No, he hasn't. Come on, let's not talk bollocks. Bruno Fernandes was a very, very good player for us, um, you know, a couple of years ago. Uh, Adrian says, I've been Ten Hag in, but the tactics in which he set the team up has changed my mind. The only players I would keep is Hoyland, Maynou, Ganacho, Delo, and Martinez. The rest must be sold now. And even if we'd won today, it makes no difference. We don't turn up every game. Pick and choose when to turn up. Disgusting. I'm done with this, Mark, says Goldio. Um, this attitude is because of Eric Ten Hag, says Bailey. Um, but Eric Ten Hag wasn't here five years ago. Wasn't here two years ago under Ranjik either. So... You, 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 you're not right, basically. The two main viruses need to go. Bruno and Rashford, they are lackadaisical and selfish, says Clark. Um, take out Bruno for Mount and make Casemiro captain and we'll see something different, says Simp. I wish they'd show the bloody offside. I don't think they're going to show it, which is a shame because I'd love to see that offside again. Um, because I, I'm absolutely convinced he could have slipped him in a little bit quicker, but I don't think they're going to show it because, uh, look, what to expect in the second half? I'd make changes. I mean, there is something that's very disappointing as well. If I Look, I think people need to understand what a number 10 is. A number 10 is the focal point of a team. If you look at somebody like Odegaard or De Bruyne yesterday and all season... They are the catalyst for the team. They are the player that that runs the team. So if I'm Bruno Fernandes and Rashford has got fouled in the first four minutes against Bradley, in my head, I'm like, I've got to get the ball to Rashford quickly to run at that fullback. Because if I take too long, they're going to double up on him to protect the yellow card. I've got to get the ball to him and let him run at him at least four times this half. I think we did it once. Well, that's just that's just that's just brains of a number ten. I'm going to get the ball out to Rashford quickly so he can run at that fullback, 
Because if he gets sent off, Liverpool are down to 10 men, we've got a great chance. We've not even, he's not even thought about doing it. There was a ball by Delow where he was offside. He doesn't know he's offside. All he's got to do is cushion it down to Rash, uh, Rasmus on the edge of the box. He tries to control it for himself. I, I, that is one of the worst performances I've seen from Bruno Fernandes. And he shouldn't be on the pitch in the second half, but he will be. Um, sorry, but um, Mark, if it's a graveyard shift, and what's the bloody point in spending that much money on him, says HCA. Of course, 100%. 100%. Uh, Mark, this has got me numb, says Taco. Roy Keane needed in the dressing room urgently. Uh, sorry, uh, but um, Ten Hag needs to show some bottle and remove Rashford and Bruno, uh, says Club. Uh, Delo should be our captain. He always motivates players, says Delve. We need a manager who will drop Rashford and Bruno, says Liberto. Uh, would you beat Ten Hag out if we didn't make Europe, says Arfoot. Um I, I don't know, mate. I mean, I, look, there's still plenty of games to go. I, I'm going to have to judge it by that. But I still stand by the fact that there are players that are in this team that will be in this team next year. And we shouldn't be replacing a manager if we're not going to replace those players. I think you're a bit harsh on Maguire, Mark. I think he's been one of our better players, says Matt. Yes, I don't think Maguire's played badly. But he is a senior player. Where's the fucking leadership? Like, everyone's just playing as an individual. I've seen Maguire and he's sort of like bewildered, not happy, even though he's playing well. Somebody needs to grab that team. That's what I'm talking about. How can Ten Hag ask the players to be brave when he isn't brave enough to make a change when his job is on the line, says William. Uh, who is selecting these players, says Sherlock. Game after game, ir irrespective of how we play, Rashford, Bruno don't have any pressure to perform because they know they'll get picked. Man United's midfield is non-existent. I feel sorry for Mainu, in ex inexperienced, badly coached and surrounded by weak, overpaid players. Um, both uh, F fullbacks bad at positioning on occasions, but Delo gets ignored more due to passion and attacking display, says Common. Uh, Casemiro is already in Saudi Arabia. Bruno's passing to ghosts. Rashford's hungover. Maguire's uh, Maguire. Petulant uh, out. Petulant FC out, says Jack. Um, sell them all. It's crap every week. Hard watch, says Anthony. Uh, disgusting performance by Bruno and others, says Cute, and Rashi off, Anthony on, switch Ganacho to the left, says Phil. Um, yeah, well, look, I mean, if you, the momentum in that second half was was very, very clear, wasn't it? Um, the, moment, the momentum in that second half was 100% with Liverpool scoring the second goal. I've seen that a lot this season. We concede the... Uh, this is why I always say we need to score first. How many times have you watched this channel and I've said, it's about who scores first with United. If we can score first, I think we've always got a chance. Um, if we concede first, especially at Old Trafford, we seem to we, we seem to sink with that pressure. Um, I remember against, was it Brighton? First 15 minutes, we played really well. I think we had 60% possession. They scored and it went from 60 to 40. It's almost like when we concede a goal, we give the ball up more. And that's just a, a, a prime example of mentality. These players are not mentality players. Look, when I see Man United go 1-0 down to Liverpool at Old Trafford, over the years, normally there's a reaction. Pride kicks in, passion kicks in, the crowd kick in. Not anymore. These players just go, I don't fucking fancy it. I don't know why it's acceptable. I don't know why it's acceptable. Whoever's in charge of the football club, it happened with Ranić. It happened with Mourinho at the end and it happened with Oli. We've allowed it to become acceptable that we'll just blame the manager. That's what we'll do. We'll just blame the manager. There's never any accountability that you're playing Liverpool and you're just giving up. Yeah, you can sack the manager. We've done that before. But why is it these players, why have Man United got into this mindset of it's only the manager to blame? How many times have you watched United play Liverpool and down tools over the last six years? under four different managers. And some of those players are still here and they get a clean slate every time from the fans. Oh, this man, that's not how football works. I know when people are putting an effort in, I know when they're passionate, they're not. Some of them players are not. They're not interested and they're senior pros as well. And we let them off every fucking time. And it ain't good enough. Oh my God, so David Brailsford's talking to Sam Allardyce and Sir Jim Radcliffe. Fuck no, it's getting even worse. She's even shocked behind, look. 
Oh my god, if we're talking to Big Sam, we're in big, 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 big trouble. Um, just numb, Mark. This has become normal, says Taco. Sorry, but Ten Hag needs to show some bot. I've done that one. Thank you very much. Uh, don't call Rashford an academy player. He's a mercenary. He's running about against Chelsea. He wasn't even jogging. He's just bleeding the club dry, says Udit. Bruno off the mount. Too many useless players, says Jeremiah. That's never going to happen, by the way. We're, we're never going to see that. Um, can we talk about the high line not working and still persisting? The same manager doesn't change this, says Arjun. Um... Sad that Ten Hag can't win over the players and removes players' power, but we are really bad. I know we're done as a team, but it still hurts, says Mud. Uh, those saying one, Basaka, Senior, Delo is not six months difference between them, says Common. And as bad as it could be a lot worse, we've got that many injuries. Uh, with a full squad, it'd be a different picture, says George. Um, yeah, Bruno's out for the second half. No subs at half time is absolute disgrace. That 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 those players, some of those players do not reflect Man United in a game against Liverpool. They'll come out now. I've seen Liverpool. I've I've seen Liverpool a lot this season. Liverpool second half are going to come out like a fucking freight train. If they don't put this game to bed by 60 minutes, I'll be stunned. I've seen Liverpool do this so many times. First 15 minutes of a half, boom. I saw them in the second half against Man City, boom. He'll come and they'll come out and they'll absolutely rinse us now. And um, Ten Hag hasn't made a fucking change. Um, Mark, please say specific players. I'm a bit confused, mate. You need to listen, mate. I said I've already said it twice. Who the senior players are? Maguire, Casemiro, Bruno, Rashford. They're the four most senior, best-paid players on that pitch. They're the four players that, if they collectively team together, the rest would respond. And none of them are playing as a collective. They're all individual voices. Ten Hag trying to get the players up. I'm, thank, thanks for that, Sky. Just uh, show us Ten Hag when the, when the game's kicked off. Right, where are we? We're not in London. Let's have a look. Let me get this. Go on. 27 I'm waiting for. 25, 26. There we go. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. If you're on YouTube, you can do that by clicking the subscribe button. Um, we're very close to uh, 845,000, actually. Bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. We're only 50 subscribers away from 845,000. So please do subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. And big shout-out to the TikTok crew who are tuning in as well. Kanisha, uh, Roman and Harry, thank you very much for the follows. Look, what did I tell you? What did I tell you about Liverpool coming out on fire in the second half? All over is like a bloody rash. Ah, I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted. You've got a young, inexperienced right back on a yellow card at Old Trafford and we haven't even bothered to get at him. Michael Clegg says, another half of no service for Rasmus. I don't think... I, I, it surprises me at how much criticism Rasmus gets, actually, considering, you know... The stats don't lie. You can't score a goal. You can't. You can't score a goal from no service, basically. And God, with there is no service. Is uh, Maynu. But um, now we're going to get broken upon because Rashford, uh, Casemiro, and Bruno have committed to the tackle. Oh my God! They've just took three players out there. Edge of the box. Great block by Maguire. Could have been easily. What's Casemiro doing there as well? There's just... This is not coincidental. Like, there's so many players that are not giving it.
just not 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 putting it in. It's too bloody open again. Look at Salah. He just skips past Mainu and Casemiro. Brilliant by Cambuala. I mean, Salah's just gone through Mainu and Casemiro there. It's just terrible. Jonathan says that seemed like a, a, a good buy from Ten Hag. No, I don't think it was. I think he's trying to get the crowd up, to be fair. Uh, that from Ten Hag seemed like a last good buy, says Jonathan. Mark, did you see the leaked footage of Marcus shopping in Asda? He overpaid a packet of hobnobs, says Geordie. I think Ten Hag and the board knows that the season is over. Take the positive of Ganacho, Kobe and Rasmus and start thinking about next season, says Nikos. Uh, Ten Hag can't drop Rashford. It comes from above. Only manager that had the balls to drop him was Ralph. And guess what he got for it, says uh, WC. Um, the manager picks these players. He chooses to play Rashford and Bruno when there are others on the bench who haven't had a chance. He makes the subs, says Mr. Dark. And other, either or for you, Mark. Big Sam or Southgate, says six aside. Fucking hell, that's a, that's a horrible choice. Um even when we intercept the ball, we pass it back to them. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I need, I need a stretch here. On oh, my bloody birthday as well. Fucking hell. Here we go. What the fuck is that? Oh! It's a goal! Oh my god! Well, he sat me down. He sat me down. 1-1. One, one. Bruno Fernandes. Well, I'm absolutely ecstatic. Happy birthday. I mean, that is a shock. It's a mistake by Liverpool. But wow. Wow. Um... He scored, he scored basically from halfway line. Maybe, maybe, maybe Bruno doesn't need to come off. That is... Uh, what? I'm stunned. I'm absolutely stunned. It's. I need to see it again. I was sort of like Liverpool have got the ball. Kwanzaa cuts back. Lazy pat. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. It's it's not a worldie. When you see where, when you see where he gets it, it's just smack it straight. I mean, it's not easy to do, but he's done it. Kwanzaa with a gift and Bruno just smacks it into an open net from the centre circle cuts across it lovely goal lovely finish 1-1 one, one. well lifeline lifeline now can we do anything with that I can hear I can hear him I can hear him cheering in London we're in London, aren't we? AFTV. Long way to go. Long way to go. Maybe that can just get us going a little bit now. As I said many a time. Here we go. Bruno ball to Rashford. Oh, he's, he's not controlled it. Get at that, Bradley. Come on. Come on. Oh, just, if we can just keep hold of the ball a little bit. Great tackle. Bounces off to them. Stay with him. Well done. Well done, Cambuala. He pulled him back. <laughs> He's my man of the match so far, Cambuala. Doing a good job. So undeserved. Adin says, if I speak, mate, look, I, I genuinely think Bruno Fernandes has probably had one of the worst games he's ever had. And this will be very interesting on what people say about him after the game because it's a very, very good finish. And it's the quintessential, if you score a goal, does it put the rights wrong of um, his performance? Well, for me it does because it's my birthday and it's Liverpool. But there's a long way to go yet. And, I, you know, the way we've been playing, oh my Christ, we got away with that. Maynou's in now. Still, it's not... Massive. You've got to go right. You've got to go right, not left. Take him on, then. Take him on. Oh, we had. The, we should have gone right. We should have gone right. Now we have gone right. Here's Ganacho. Oh, deflected corner. Come on. We're back in this now. It's 1-1 again. 
Al says, keep talking about Bruno, you prats. Well, I was one of them. Uh, just like Rashford, Bruno is shushing the crowd, says Salim. I guess we're glad we kept him on, eh, says that kid. And no more Bruno slander today. No, no, keep doing it. He might score again. Um, the manager had done that one. OK, just, I'm just catching up on those. Thank you very much. Corner to United. Cross comes in. Oh, I thought Maguire was going to get on it. Rashford, you're up against Bradley. Take him on. Take him on. Puts a cross in. Oh, it should have been a goal. Ah, oh, we're not getting on the end of that. Oh, Casemiro, he's so close. Now then, Bruno scores. He's going to do a bunch of bad passes as Clark. Thanks for the follow, JR Cricket. Look, it's a look. The goal's a massive mistake by Liverpool. Remember, that's a. Uh... Oh, what the fuck is going on here? Casemiro too slow. They've got a four v two. Oh, how have they not scored from there? How have they not scored from there? And how are we? <laughs> Chuckle vision football. To me, to you. Florian says, Camboala has been better than expected. I mean, from this position, Liverpool should score. It's a 4v2. And I don't quite know what Darwin Nunez is doing. Is it a shot? I don't know what he's trying to do there. Carty says, happy birthday. Mine's tomorrow. Corner comes in, headed away. We need to get through this next 10 minutes. Not conceding. We've been given a lifeline here. Good tackle by McAllister. There we go again. Look, it's just, it's relentless. It's going to give the free kick to Liverpool, isn't it? Yeah. I like I like the look of this Camwala. I mean again it's another young player that's come through on on the Ten Hag era, isn't it? Like Mainu and Ganacho, but I do like the look of him. There's the, it's a bit like when Mainu got thrown in to that was it Everton away um as a holding midfielder. Ten Hag has this thing where if you if you if you're good enough you'll play. And um I mean, ideally, you want to give them half an hour against Preston in the Carabao Cup. But sometimes you play against Liverpool at Old Trafford in a massive game. And if you play well, your confidence goes massive. So, thanks for the follow, chicken and motivated. Those short corners never work once. You lose possession, you're bound to be counter-attacked. Just put the ball in the box, says Nigel. Well, Liverpool will... will look, we, we, we've got to be clever here. If I'm Ten Hag, I'm like, it's 1-1. They need to win. Let's let's keep it tight for 10 minutes and counter. And then in the last 25 minutes, they're going to keep trying to score and we just keep trying to counter. I mean, I really would just be now looking at it like that. Crap ball by Bruno again. He always wants to blame somebody else. It's a crap ball. You either pass it into feet to Rasmus or you put it in the air to Rashford. If you put it in between both in the air. Good block. Come on. Uh, thanks for subscribing, Bobby. How is that a not red card for Keller? He handballed it outside the box, says Devon.
Mark, just want to say happy birthday from everyone in our family. We love listening to your commentary and you've made watching Manchester United tolerable, says James. Keep up the good work. You and your team are spot on. Thanks, mate. Really appreciate it. I tell you what, if Man United get even a point here, it will be a better birthday than my ninth when I went into WH Smith with uh, about 40 quid, which in those days was worth about 100, and I bought a load of wrestling figures and a wrestling ring, and that was me. Birthday night playing Wrestlemania. Isn't it disloyal to want a player from the bench on there? United players too. Happy for Bruno and the team. I wish he could do it every game, but says Mr. Don. It's not disloyal if a player's not performing in the shirt. He's never going to take Bruno Fernandes off though. I mean, we can hypothetically talk about it, but it will never happen. So the fact that he scored is fantastic because he's never going to get taken. Well, Maguire, why is he not getting a shout there? Why, why is Maguire not getting a shout there? It's all right. We've got it back. Mainly got fouled. Thanks for the follow, Mark. Loads of people giving us a follow on TikTok. Big shout out, Legends, Michael, Zach, Westy, Manny. Where do you think this game's going, everybody? I still think Liverpool win it. I mean, the balance is, um, it's with them, isn't it? You know, they're better than us. They've got a better bench than us. Um, I think Liverpool with half an hour to go will win it. But we've been given a lifeline by a mistake. But you know what? I think people overreact to the mistake. People, uh, This is the agenda, isn't it? People will overreact to that mistake and go, oh, you know... Man United are so lucky. It's only the same as not marking your man on a corner. Both goals are massive mistakes. They're just different types of mistakes. Liverpool have had better chances. They've not taken them. That's not my problem. Both goals are actual mistakes. I'd love to get a result here. I fucking love it. It matters to me and a lot of United fans. It's Liverpool. I don't give a shit about manager out or who's top of the league or what. It's Man United against Liverpool. Liverpool used to be like this against us for years. I remember the 99 season. We were going for the treble. Liverpool were shite. And we went to Anfield in around April, May time. Paul Ince was playing for Liverpool. We were 2-0 up. I think Ince equalised right near the end. They ran around Anfield like they'd won the bloody World Cup. We won the treble that, that year. But they, they, got an, they got a late equaliser at Anfield. Because it, it, it meant so much not to get beat by us. Because it's a rivalry. So I'll take any point here. I mean, I mean three. Fucking hell. It's my birthday. It's not bloody Christmas. but um, And Christmas is better than birthday. Come on, let's be honest. But um, what's Bruno Casemiro doing a no-look pass to a Liverpool player? Fucking hell. He's not been good again, has he? Good tackle. Don't score from this because they'll go back and look at that foul. Here we go, throw in. Uh, Seamus, thank you very much. I know a lot less about football, but help me understand why Rasmus is so promising. To me, he's not making the right runs. P.S. I bought your books, says Tom. Look, I, I don't know. I don't know what runs Rasmus is meant to make because I've not seen us in a position where he could make a run and get it anyway. Oh my God, Bruno's on side there. Take a fucking touch, mate. Guess what? Liverpool are on the attack. Well done, Maguire. 
Sally and welcome to the Members Club. Thank you very much. Phillips gifted a membership. Yes, we are level, but the players need to manage the game, says Mohammed. Um, just remember, I mean, all I care about is United fans, and this is very nervy, but Bruno's on side here. Why does he not control it? You know what? He scored a good goal today, but he's probably had three other opportunities where you'd expect to do a little bit better. The ref robbed in the, as in that game versus Liverpool in 99 as well, says Ian. Yeah, he gave a penalty, didn't he? Blongfist was never a bloody penalty. Um, yeah, but look, <laughs> birthday bridge, I'd love a point. Imagine what Arsenal fans are thinking. They bloody, they, they do a lot for a point. Willie Kambala looks like a nice player. He's been my man of the match, Daniel, definitely. Khalid, thank you very much. BJTC on TikTok says he's an Arsenal fan. Uh, Rashford's coming off. Anthony and... No, not Ahmad. Casemiro jogging after all games. I, I don't mind saying I'm wrong. And we've got a moment to do this because Rashford's down. I don't mind saying I'm wrong. Um, it very rarely happens. But Casemiro is going to have to go in the summer. I only realised it this time. Because last season I thought he was brilliant. And this season he's had a lot of injuries. But since he's come back since Christmas whether his head's in Saudi Arabia or what he ain't worth 300 grand a week you, you know he's just not worth 300 grand a week so you've got to get rid um, I, I, I will accept that now um, he's never going to go back to what he was last year so he, he Casemiro's got to go I've only come to that conclusion recently but he's got to go that position is so important and you've got to be able to run and he can't run so he's got to go Uh Casemiro's got to go. Varane I would keep, but I think we will let Varane go as well. But Casemiro's got to go. And he, he's even playing like he's gone. I think Casemiro's better than that. But I, I, I don't think he's... Uh... Which is weird, because if you know about Casemiro, he's so dedicated to his, his football and the stories that you read about him from Real Madrid and Brazil. It's um, Maybe it is just... I don't know what it is. He's not the player that normally does that. Rashford's gone off, by the way. I don't know what the problem was with Rashford. Happy birthday from Sydney, Mark. I mean, look, Rashford, we can give his player rating now. What would you give him out of 10? Six being average. I would probably... He'd probably talk in a five at best. He's not really done anything, has he? I think we could have got the ball to him a little bit more. Mainu. Ganacho. Back post. Shoot. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Happy birthday, Kobe Mainu. The bend on that is like a bloody boomerang. That is an absolute banger. Makeda style in the box. Curls it in the top corner. Jurgen Klopp's even going like that. Absolutely fantastic. How are Manchester United? Can we play Liverpool every week? Can we play you every week? How are we 2-1 up against Liverpool on that performance? It's the same as the Cup. Unbelievable. Absolutely fantastic goal. Watch this. Get in here. Look at this. He's stunned. We've got a bit of a build-up. Why do you smell of onion? My has been chopping onion. That's why then. Watch this. Into Mainu. Here we go. Watch this for a goal. Turn. <laughs> what do you think about that? Good. Thanks. Be a bit happier than that. You banned off the iPad or something? No. 
What a finish. The, you know, sometimes, you, I mean, look, you can't beat being in the ground. But the camera angle on that, I mean, keeper dives. What's the point? What is the point? 2-1. Jurgen Klopp celebrating. He's going like this. Wow. Absolutely wow. Worldy. Worldy. Another worldy. Maybe he was at fault. Maybe he was at fault for the first goal. Maybe he should have marked up better. 22 minutes to go. Is Goldbridge going to get a, a birthday present extraordinaire here? Arsenal fans, talk to me. Absolutely brilliant goal. Absolutely brilliant. I'm, sh I'm, I'm actually stunned. I thought I knew football. Wow. Liverpool are going to absolutely go mad if they lose this game. Or even draw it. How? How? How do we do this? How do we how do we get into winning positions when we're shit? And then when we play well, we lose. Like Chelsea, we should have won. Brentford, we should have lost. We got a draw. Liverpool, we should be losing. We're winning. Unbelievable. Mark Williamson, Wilkinson, thank you very much. Uh, Nigel's just gifted five memberships. Of course, let's not forget Man City. They'll be bloody celebrating this as well. Yeah, you can't waste Maynu as a holding midfielder. Absolutely not. Build Maynard a statue, says the wheelbarrow. Look, we've got to we've got to switch on here now. Twenty minutes. We've been in this position before. We've been on the cusp of a big win before, literally three days ago. Uh, make sure you subscribe, by the way. Bottom right hand corner. Get my book if you're feeling it's my birthday. I could be, you know, buy the book. Links in the live chat as well. Pre-order it, but. Um, Trust me, the best present would be beating Liverpool. McTominay's not on the bench, mate. Somebody just said, can we bring McTominay on for Casemiro? He's not on the bench. Don't know what his, prob what his problem is. Well done, Rasmus. Wins a free kick. Happy birthday, Mark. Hopefully a birthday to remember, mate. I'm just... It's literally... Two and a half days ago since Thursday night. I mean, look at these stats. Would you look at these stats? Oh my God. Look at it. 21 shots to four on target. Maybe Ten Hag's right. Maybe Ten Hag's right. You know, they, the quality of shots are crap. But um, good play by Anthony there into Casemiro. He nearly went for Ganacho. I don't know why he didn't. Now we do. He's gone. He's gone. Corner. Well done. What, he's given a goal? What's he doing? Giving a goal kick. Corner. No, corner. Ganacho on the left and things start to happen to Salim. Rashford, lover, Gary, Rashford, lover, never won't talk bad about a, a bad of Maynou now. Love your shows. What is this all Neville Maynou stuff? I can't, I don't believe that Gary Neville would speak badly about Maynou. I mean, he's from the youth. Um, this will give Arsenal a draw up their sleeve and still stay top based on goal difference as good as a win. Oh, it's not looking like a win. Uh, Chris has been on the loo for both United goals, just drinking some coffee and taking some laxatives. Chris, yes, get on the laxatives. If you were on the toilet twice, get on, get on the all brand as well. Michael says, is it individual as uh, FC or does Ten Hag get some credit? Michael, no, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. On the morning show, I said, if we lose this game, it's on the players. And if we win this game, it's on the players. I won't change about that because we can criticise them. And we can praise them. And I just think we've got so many injuries, you can't play the way any manager wants to play. You put 11 players out there, you say it's Man United against Liverpool, go out there and put a performance in. And if they do it, then you give credit to the players. If they don't do it, then you, you, you have a pop at the players. Because it's Man United against Liverpool. You should be able to survive on the atmosphere. 
Um, Mozza says Beckham would be clapping that effort. Mate, amazing. Oh, the curl on it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go on, Rasmus. He's on his own. He needs to wait. Into Ganacho. Rubbish shot. Rubbish shot. Rasmus does well here, though. The thing is, it's, Rasmus, should, Rasmus is always the provi provider, isn't he? Uh, happy birthday, Mark. Jinx Bridge is real. Please um, predict no more wins until the season end and United could sneak top four. Mayno is a legend in the making, says Kaifel. Look what starts to happen when Rashford is off, says Lou. Well... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll reserve judgment on that. Oh, he's played so well, Camboala. He's got to be man of the match. He's got to be man of the match. He's been brilliant. He's been so good. I mean, it's a it's a reckless tackle. You've got to make it. It is studs up as well. It's just pure passion. And, uh, yeah, he's got to make that tackle. Klopp's there going. Oh, he's booked him for it. He has booked him for it. Wanker. Fucking wanker. Got the ball. These youngsters will take Man United greater again. This is Quinter. You know, you're right. You've got Rasmus, you've got Ganacho, you've got Mainu, you've got Cambuala now. Just try and build a team of youngsters and eventually we'll get rid of all the fucking part-timers, won't we? Alex says, happy birthday. Thanks for all you do. Thank you very much. Camboala, man of the match. Cheers for everything you do, Mark, says Jake. <clears throat> you know, you're not, if, I, if I'm a United player now and I'm Bruno Fernandes or I'm Harry Maguire or whatever, I'm saying, come on. We can be the we we can stop this Liverpool team winning twenty titles. Has anyone thought about that? Has anyone even thought about that? Uh, Neville's criticism was of the positions Mane is being asked to take up, man marking and leaving space in behind, praising him as a player but questioning tactics. As Daniel, well, I think we can safely say that uh, Gary Neville is ten hog out when he's talking about you know you can't use injuries as an excuse. Remember, we've got two teenagers on the bench who've never played for the club before. Um, this is our 20-something combination of centre-backs. Um, we've had over 60 injuries, but apparently we can't use injuries as an excuse. Go on, Ganacho, little dink. Come on. We've got to want this now. We've got to want this. I think you've got to bring some fresh legs on, surely. Surely some fresh legs in the midfield now. Even Amrabat. Just to sit there. Mount, surely. Oh, no, no, no. Second ball. Oh, Joe Gomez has never scored a goal for Liverpool and he won't do now. Deflected. Delo's mentality in that defence is so important. Um, Guna here, really hoping Man United can do it. Not for Arsenal, but for the Man United players. They deserve this. The Chelsea game was awful. This is PMO. Box. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you're an Arsenal fan hoping we get the result. I mean, come on, mate. I wasn't born yesterday. Happy 60th mark, says Jordan. Um, you're going to knock one out if United wins, says Sheep. What does uh, Arteta get criticised for being animated but Klopp doesn't, says James. Uh, the Lowe's um, mentality in that defence is so important, says Florian. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed, by the way. We're only 50 subscribers away from 846,000, so please do subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. Um, look, Liverpool are going to keep attacking. Oh, my God. I, I, you know what? I don't know how we're winning this game when I can think of three players on that pitch for United that started. Four that have probably put in a five or below. Casemiro, Bruno, Rashford 
and Rasmus because he's had no service. I mean, those 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 four players have easily put in a four, a five, you know, below six, below average, and yet we're winning two one against top of the league, or they were top of the league. Um, Maguire's played well, Kirk. I didn't include Maguire in that. Maguire's played well. Camboal has been ama amazing. Bruno Casemiro out, Mountain Amrabat in, says Vito. Well, he just won't do it, will he? He just won't do it. Thanks, Ivor. 2-1 to United at the moment. Still plenty of time to go. Why is Delo on back post? No, 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 no. Casemiro should be getting a shout there. And Salah misses the second shot. This, this is Chelsea all over again. They're not talking to each other. You're winning 2-1. Talk to each other. Stop passing the book. Leadership. Bruno here. You've got to be fighting to intercept it. Why is Harvey Elliott gone for the top hair with the Orlando Bloom moustache, says Daniel Grant. Cambuala and Branthwaite behind Martinez and Baran, says Sahel. But here's Amrabat. This is a good substitution for me. Is that for Casemiro? No, it's for Ganacho. Trying to lock down the midfield. With these youngsters plus the talent in the under-18s, the future is bright, says legendary Baldy. South says, park in the bus a bit. I'd have parked the bus from minute one, mate. I mean, the way that we've played as open as we have, I think it's... I think it's... Uh, you've got to give credit. Because I would have parked the bus from the start. I would have said, uh, you know, Liverpool are a very good attacking side. Let's counter them. Hopefully now we are going to start doing that. Casemiro's had a stinker. An absolute stinker, hasn't he? I'd, I can't do this anymore. I'll be throwing my chair. I'm, I will. I've got a birthday cake. I am. I haven't made it. I've got a birthday cake in the oven. I can't sit and watch us throw away three points again. I mean, whether we deserve it or not, that's that's up for conversation. But the fact is, we're winning three one. Here's a cross from Gomez. Edge of the box for Salah. Casemiro. They were looking at a handball. Don't think it was. <gasps> Penalty. Why has wan -Bissaka done that? Fucking idiot. It's the same again. It's the same again. Are these people getting their brains from a fucking scarecrow? What are they doing? What are we doing here? Why are you flying in? It's a stonewall penalty, you fucking idiot. What what part of your brain are you doing there? Fucking waste of time. What an absolute prat attack. I mean... That tackle, Maguire can have a word and we don't deserve, it's just a fucking idiot. Another idiot tackle in the box. I mean, I mean, fuck off. I mean, that just, this is what I'm talking, this is what I'm talking about. Mentality. We don't have enough players with big game mentality. 
Same thing happened against Chelsea the other day. And they were, I thought they were soft penalties. That's a stone wall. As fans, we can't argue with that. That's a stone wall penalty. And Harvey Elliott, he ain't even there. He's not even, he's not even in a good position. It's just a stupid tackle at a stupid time. Absolute prat. That's mentality. No top centre, no, no top fullback does that. You don't do that. Why did he do it? Answers on a post Salah won't miss. It's like Cole Palmer. He won't miss. It's bloody Mo Salah. Bottom right. Watch. No, bottom left. They ain't going to miss. They ain't going to miss. Well, fuck it. They'll go and win 3-2 now. They'll go and win 3-2. Deja vu, says Nigel. I can't. I can't do this. I can't keep fucking doing this. Just, I can't, I just can't, it's just, I'll take a draw. Mate, there's about 10 minutes to go, they're going to get a proper chance, that's a gift. They're going to get their real chance. Uh, you know what, I just despair, I absolutely despair. Oh, but wan is so good at slide tackling. It's the only thing he's good at. And he's fucked it up. That's just dunce defending, that is. I'm sorry. It's just... It, it, that's the sort of thing you do on a Sunday morning. His head, his head's gone. That's Ned Stark defending, that is. No brain in that at all. No, no need to do it. Harvey Elliott's going away from goal. And we've got players in the box. It's not like it's the last man. You don't have that. You know what? I'm not happy about it. But all these people who bloody arse lick wan because he's a great slide tackler. Maldini said it. When you slide tackle, it's because it's last ditch. I don't slide tackle very often. And slide tackling is dangerous. It's risky. And he does it in a fucking box at 2-1 against our biggest rival. It's the left back curse. Unbelievable. I just, we're not going to win now, are we? We won't win now. Oh, fucking hell. Another corner. Right, I'm going to whack the player ratings in the video description. Uh, a lot of people saying wan never touched it, hardly touched him. I'll be honest with you, it's a penalty. It's, I don't like Anthony Taylor. There probably wasn't a lot of contact, but come on, have a word. He has gone to ground in the penalty box. He has not got anywhere near the ball. It's a stupid challenge. If you do that and you give away a penalty, I really haven't got a problem with it. Whether he hardly touches him or not, it's fucking, it's to ground. It's not sticky. You know, like some people stick a foot out and, and a player will touch their leg. He's slide tackling in the box. He's missed the ball. If you give a penalty up, then it's it's stupidity. I'm not, look, I thought Delos wasn't a penalty. Wan Basaka slide tackling in the box and not getting the ball. Well, you deserve a penalty against you for being so bloody stupid in the first time. First place. Stupid sub putting Bruno on the wing and telling Amra about to cover created the confusion, says Abby. I can't believe these subs mount for Mainu and Bruno gets to stay. What is Ten Hag thinking? Says uh, L. Look, Bruno's never going to come off for Man United. It's never going to happen. Now, what you need to think about is, do you, do you think Man United can be successful next season with Bruno Fernandes? Welcome to the Conference League, says Alex. Look, if we can get a point, it's still a good point for us. 
it's a bad point for Liverpool. So, look, I'd have took a point before it. But, you know, the amazing thing is, for all the shots Liverpool have had, both goals are stupid mistakes. Well done. Oh, ref, that's a yellow. Book him. Yeah. 88 minutes. Yeah, links in the description for player ratings. Mark every player out of 10. Six being the average. Oh, how is Salah? Well done, Bruno. Well done, Bruno, there. I don't know how Salah's ended. You know, this is it again, though, right? It's almost like deja vu. Can I just say this before it happens? It's 2-2 against the best team in the league in the 89th minute. We're dead on our feet. Go deep, play narrow, and play close together. Now, will we do it, or will we go gung-ho and keep getting broken on? Our top answer was... We're going to end up with at least five 3v5s in the next five minutes. Just play fucking narrow and deep. Take the fucking point, please. It would have been a, it would have been jammy to win it anyway. There's no way we deserve to win this. But point would be a good point. Take the point. I'll tell you what, Casemiro, is he doing it on purpose? I think Casemiro has overtaken everybody else on the pitch for the worst performance. I've never seen seven minutes. I've never seen... I've never seen so many misplaced passes from Casemiro. He's been absolute shit today. I can't, I can't get my head around the decline. If only Hoyland had passed that to Anthony, says Vichel. I'm exhausted from this. I'm tired of the escape goating our managers and not holding these non-disciplined players. Can't remember how many times this season we get lazy in squeaky bum times, says Austin. Nate, I I'm absolutely convinced there's a Liverpool late winner here. Like, it's my birthday. They're going to fuck it up. Absolutely. What does the league table look like? I mean, from our point of view, it doesn't really matter. It's um, it's nothing for us, is it? Um, it keeps Arsenal top on goal difference. Maguire's gone down now. They're uh, they're a rare breed among United centre back. They're almost like the uh, you know those uh, protected species, like those hippos that there's hardly any of them left. That's what it's like being a centre back among United. We should be a protected species. Apparently Ten Hag's furious. Nice play by Bruno. Rasmus runs into trouble. And Basaka. Oh my god. Take him out! Yeah. Mason Mount. Fair play, Mount. Fair play. Fair play to Mount there. They were on it. They were on us.
It's a blatant yellow card, but they were going to... Oh, they're still breaking on us anyway. Don't let wan have the ball in our box. Uh, yeah, do the player ratings. I'd be very interested to see what your thoughts are on that. Mario Franco says he's going bold if we score a winner. Mate, I'm not expecting us to score the winner. I'm very much expecting Liverpool to score the winner uh, based on the way this season's going. I mean, if we could get... If we could find them a break, you never know. Oh, my God. There it... Well, there was one moment. Diaz dropped him on the edge of the six-yard box. I don't know what Anthony's getting involved in here. I think he wanted a foul. I mean, Diaz should fucking score that. I mean, that's a let-off. He's not even stretching. I'll tell you what, they would never... I'll tell you what, they would not have given a foul for that on Anthony. They would not have given that. That's the same as what happened to... Uh, Gabriel against Newcastle. That not that wouldn't have been a foul. He's booked Anthony for descent. Still four minutes to go. Please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Thanks for all the follows on TikTok as well. Well controlled the low. And now Anthony's got it. This is a 2v2. Where's Rasmus going to go? Anthony, you've got to pass. Bruno. Oh, for fuck's sake. Look, you can't argue with Bruno's effort and running, but you have to at some point say he's had a shit game. Apart from that goal, his passing's been fucking awful. I, you know what? I'll say it again. I will take a point against Liverpool when you think about Casemiro is easily a 4 out of 10. Rashford's a 5. Bruno's a 5. Rasmus is a 5. Um, Wambasaka is a 5. Like, half our team have been below average, and yet we've got a 2-2 draw against Liverpool. So the standout players for me would be Maguire and Cambuala. Um... I thought Ganacho, Menu, Delo have done okay. But yeah. Again, somehow we're gonna hopefully walk well, I'm not gonna say the result, but Liverpool will certainly look at this and say, like the cup game, how did we not win? Or if they do win, how did we not do it more comfortable? Um, happy birthday, Mark. Feel like Champions League is better to sign young players wanting to play for United rather than lose glories hunters wanting thousands to be at the club. I'm in agony watching them, says Karan. And Dave says, why do we always get so much extra time? Uh, most most televised games get loads of extra time now, to be fair. Good ball by Amrabat. Lovely ball into Anthony. Just smack the shit out of it. Oh, Good ball by Rasmus, that. Still a minute to go. How isn't Ahmad getting in the team? Says Barry. Oh, that's a shit pass by... Uh, that's all right. It's going to go for a throw in. You've got to take him out. Delo, you've got to take him out. Why didn't he take him out? Great tackle by Casemiro. He's going to give him a red. Gonna give him a red. Yellow. He nearly gave him a red. Taylor. Anthony Taylor was desperate to give him a red there. Absolutely desperate. Maybe he should. <laughs> Fucking hell. Maybe he should. Bloody hell. Maybe, I mean, look. Maybe he should. I mean, look at that. What's Bruno's passing accuracy? It'd be very... Um, uh, Tam, I'd say Bruno's passing accuracy is very good because you you discount the amount of five-yard passes that people play. Cross comes in. Edge of the box. Good save. 
That should be it. Referee blows the whistle. I tell you what, I'll take that. I don't know how we've done it. I will take that. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. 2-2 against Liverpool. I mean, I don't really know how we've got to that point in many ways. I don't know how it was 2-1. But then I look at it and go, what a stupid penalty. But then I look at it and go, Casemiro was dog shit. Bruno wasn't that good. Rashford wasn't that good. Rasmus was a waste of time up front. No service. Um... Wambasaka was crap. Half our team didn't have a good game. And yet somehow we 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 we, we snatched a draw from a victory. Um so yeah. Um I'll I'll take that point. And obviously it it it, it causes a dent into Liverpool's title hopes, and they will look at that and go, how didn't they win? Um you know, both those games, Chelsea and now this, um, have just been exhausting. They're, it's exhausting to watch Manchester United at the moment. It really is. I'll be very interested to see what your player ratings are, actually. Mark every player out of 10, six being the average. It's in the video description, and it's also in the video description of the match reaction. And I'll, I'll join you in a minute uh, for that, because uh, just just a weird, weird, weird game. And uh, look forward to your player ratings on that. Um, so um, I, I will see you over there in a minute. Yeah. Crazy. Madness. I think I might use that as the title. Uh, speak to you in a moment. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. See you in a minute.